Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to use a threshold adjustment layer and a gradient map to make a really interesting effect on a photo. Let's get started. First, click Open Photoshop and click Open or go to File Open and find an image you'd like to work with. I'm going to go to Google Drive, My Drive, go down to my photo folder and choose a photo out of my Photos for Demos folder. And I'm going to choose the goose on the water. There we go. Alright, so over here in the Layers panel, I'm going to click on the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button down here at the bottom of the panel and choose Threshold. I could also access that from the Adjustments tab. Next, I'm going to go to the Properties panel and the slider is on the default position, which is 128. So what the threshold does is it reduces the images to only black and white and maps it together with the values of the photo. So you can click this slider and drag it one way or another to bring out various features of the photo. So this photo has a really interesting pattern and it looks fabulous with this effect. Some photos don't look that amazing with the, with the threshold adjustment layer. So I like the looks of this around 133. Of course everyone's image will be a little bit different. So what I want to do next is add some interesting color to this. So I'm going to go back down to the create new fill or adjustment layer button and I'm going to add a, um, a gradient to this. So not a gradient map but a gradient up here at the top. And I get this um, window that has lots of options. So I'm going to click this down arrow and I have um, many choices here. So let's see, I'm going to open up oranges and choose this one right here. But I'm going to add some more colors to it. So I'm going to click right here on the colored bar, which will bring up a gradient editor. And I'm going to take this color stop and double click it and change it to a red color. I'm going to move the yellow over. I'm going to click to add another stop right here and I'm going to make it blue. So maybe something like that. And then I'm going to add one more color stop right here and I'm going to make it purple. And that's a nice purple. And then I'll go ahead and click and drag these sliders around to make more or less of the colors that I like. And I will go ahead and stop right there and click OK and OK again. So how do I make my image show up? Well, we are going to use the blend modes. So look down here in the layers panel and you'll see this menu that says normal and there is a little arrow. Click on the arrow and you will see um, a list with lots of choices. So go ahead and click on um, Dissolve and you can see that it, it doesn't really do much. If you are on a PC, you will see that the, there is a blue box surrounding the Dissolve title. Now I can just use my keyboard, um, the arrows on my keyboard, and I can go through each one of the blend modes one at a time and see what they do. Some of them don't do much and some of them do some really interesting things. So I'm going to keep an eye on the ones that I like and go back to my favorites at the end after I go through all of them. 
Now, if you're on a on a Mac, I believe that you can scroll through the different blend modes um, by holding down shift on the keyboard and then using the plus and or minus sign. And that's the keyboard shortcut um, to do to do the same thing as the arrow keys. So um, once you found one that you like, um, I think this looks amazing. I'll go ahead and choose difference. Then I'm just going to save this. So I will go to file, save as, save on your computer. And I do want to call it something else because maybe I want to use my, my goose image uh, later and I don't want to save, save these changes permanently. So I'll call this threshold. And then I need to choose Photoshop document or a JPEG. And in this case, it's a simple project. I'm not really going to open it up again later. I don't need my layers, so I will save it as a JPEG. And pay attention to where you save it to. So I am on my Google Drive and my photo folder and my photos for demo. And then I'll go ahead and click and save that. I will leave the quality on 8 and click OK. Now I will go to Google Classroom, open up my photography class, click on the classwork tab and scroll down to the Photoshop tutorials, choose my assignment. I'll just pretend that it's this one right here. Click view assignment, add or create Google Drive. And it should be in recent because I just did it. If I waited a few days, I might have to go look for it in my drive. But it should be, there it is, in recent. So I'll go ahead and select that and then choose insert. After it finishes uploading, I need to click the turn in button and then confirm by clicking the turn in button again. And that project is turned in. That's it, everyone. Have fun.